A lot of people want to know what my inspiration was for the apothecary. And really it just comes down to who I am as a person. So I am a mom, I am an artist, I am an engineer, I am a philanthropist, I am a plant-based junkie, I love botany, I love herbalism, and I love aromatherapy. I got involved in essential oils about eight years ago when I had a uh, a really bad migraine attack and one of the things that my neurologist was telling me at the time was that peppermint oil could help with that and that was like Alice falling through the hole to Wonderland and this whole world kind of unfolded in front of me. Apothecary traditionally was a holistic place that you would go for any of your ailments or any of your complaints or needs within your household. Women would go and get spices. Um, you could also use those same plants and herbs to get remedies for your aches and pains and things that you had. So an apothecary is a precursor to a pharmacy, but it's more than that. It's more about the holistic approach to home and to life. something for everybody here. For pets, we have pet wipes and we have sprays to keep them from itching. We have salves and um, ointments for their paws. For men, we have uh, two different entire men's lines, which are everything from fresh shaven and beard soaps and razors to hair tonics and beard lotions. Um, and we even have stuff for kids. I mean, we have some of our favorite stuff for kids is uh, we have dinosaur dirt and we have duck dirt and unicorn sparkles. And what's cool about these is these are all natural salts. So a lot of times when kids take bubble baths and they use stuff that comes from a traditional store, um, there's a lot of chemicals and products. And if, especially girls, if they take too many bubble baths, they tend to have UTIs and problems with that. When you're using an all natural product, you don't have that issue. You're using essential oils, you're using Epsom salts. So these will actually help to condition um, the skins. And um, we have a couple of lines that if we have kids that have a lot of eczemas or dry skin issues, especially up here in the Northeast in the winter, they can actually be really soothing um, for their skin as well. The other thing that we have is we have a non-alcoholic based hand sanitizer. So with these kids going to school and they have hand sanitizers, one of the biggest problems is that they'll use so much hand sanitizer, it'll actually crack the skin from the alcohol. By using an aloe base, aloe vera based and witch hazel based hand sanitizer, you won't crack the skin. So you're using hand sanitizer to keep germs away, but then you're breaking the barrier that keeps the germs out. By using a conditioning hand sanitizer, it's actually softening and protecting that skin layer to keep all the germs away. So thanks for stopping by and listening to all the cool things that we have here down at the Apothecary. Stop on by, we're at 34 North Main Street in Gloversville, which is right in between the Glover Insurance Agency and the Mohawk Harvest.